And good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, not entirely sure where I left it last time because it's been several days. Uh, but I'll try and bring you up to speed. Uh, now the postman has been. Um, I ordered a new ignition which turned up. Uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, and you'll see the tape around there because it turned up broke. Uh, not only is it broke, it doesn't actually work. Um, <clears throat> the eBay seller has actually refunded me and I've ordered another one which hopefully should be here today. Uh, what else? Clocks. I ordered some new clocks. Um, there they are fitted to the bike. And two problems with this one. Firstly, they turned up broke as well. Smash glass. Uh, secondly, um, and this is my fault, well, it's broke on that as well. Uh, the second problem, my fault for not checking, the clocks in kilometres. So, once again, uh, the kilometre bit, not my fault. The smashed one, uh, buyer refunded me, so those are free. Um, I cannot find any reasonably priced uh, MPH clocks. I did find a set of original genuine Yamaha ones at a whopping £363. Uh, obviously I'm not going to pay that for a set of clocks. What else? What else? Um, indicators. You can see I'm fitted some indicators. They're not fitted properly because they don't fit in those holes. Uh, also, these were ones I had in stock. They're brand new, but uh, one don't work. Don't know why, not looked into it. I have got another set. These chromey looking grill ones. Um, yeah, I might fit them, might not. I've got a headlight on its way. Uh, not original, um, one I've got to try and make fit. The clocks, uh, virtually nothing works on them. I've plugged them into the electrics and nothing works at all, so we've got some electrical issues. Um, it's running sweet now, or it should be anyway. Um, I've got a temporary ignition on there, it's not the correct one, there's no steering lock on it. Um, it's just one I've done just to get it going, just see if it goes. No, why is that not running? It was running. Why is it not running now? No horn. Uh, indicators go. Hmm, strange. Do I flatten the back? No, I can't flatten the battery. Hmm. Oh, I tell you why. I'm pulling the brake in. It's the clutch you've got to pull in. Hang on a sec. There we go. And it really is running quite sweet. Um, brand new battery. Uh, turn that off. Um, I may have said it before, but at the end of one of the videos, it was surging, um, it was not running properly. That was as a result of it being on my little mini jump pack, putting it on a new battery, that's running sweet. So, yeah, um, anyway, right, I am going to try and get into this a bit more today, do a bit more, see if we can uh, make some progress. Bring you back soon, guys. Cheers. And if like magic, two minutes after I switch the camera off, powerful man knocks at the door. This here is almost certainly my new ignition. The last one turned up broke. Um, even if this isn't broke, it's not the right one. Um, it's physically the same, but the plug is different. I can't actually get hold of the correct one, so... The idea was that I would uh, order this one, which physically will fit, and then hopefully tinker with the wire and make it go. So, 
go, fuel cap. New keys. And an ignition which is not broke. I suppose. On the last one that, that was all smashed round here. And that was that was hanging off. It's not very thick plastic, it's not good quality ignition, but I mean once it's on, it's on. You know, hopefully that'll be okay. So uh, yeah, they will do. That will uh hopefully do the job. That's the bit that's wrong, that will not connect. So yep. Time to get my meter out, play around with that, see if it could be swapped over. If it can't, it can't. If it can, bonus. So anyway, yep, that's it guys. Let me uh, have a play around with that and uh, we'll see where that takes us. Back soon. Hi right, guys, <clears throat> I'm going uh, to start taking a look at this uh, ignition that's just turned up in the post. Uh, as previously said, uh, this is not the right ignition. That plug won't connect to anything. So the first thing I'm going to do here, well first thing I'm going to do is put my bloody glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. That would be an idea wouldn't it? Anyway, having done that, uh, the second thing I'm going to do is we're going to try and pop these terminals out of this plug. And you can do that, I don't know if that's even going to be visible on this camera but you can put your screwdriver down the side there pop the little tab in and then give the cable a pull there we go out and number two is being awkward come on there we go and finally the third one there we go uh, if I can get hold of one I can probably uh, get the correct shape connector and push it back in but it's it's fine them. So here we go, we've got all our four wires exposed. Now, grab my test meter. And my favourite for setting on there, as you can see, is continuity. So, uh, key's in, and at the minute it's off. Now, all I really need is an on off so basically if two of these wires provide an on off I'm sorted now this is not going to be easy because I'm going to hold it on whilst at the same time turning the key on and off so okay right so there's no continuity there and it's in the off position ah so as suspected so brown and red give me my on and off so I'm pretty sure I can make this uh, ignition work uh, just out of interest let's just see if there's anything on any of the others in both the on and off position so red and black nothing that's off so red and black again nothing so in any position there's nothing on uh, red and black still working on it okay so we turn it off again then we go red with black and white so again it's off nothing let's try red red and brown we tried already so red with black and white is nothing you can see where i'm uh, going with this hopefully 
So red with black and white in the on position. Nothing. And that black, nothing. So, not entirely sure what those others do, but we have what we need. We have an on off switch using uh, red and brown. I'll probably play around with those a little bit more, see if I can figure out what they do, but on the face of it, it's probably bugger all, because, so, hang on, what about in the locked position, that steering lock on, I can't see that that would uh, actually change much, so nothing on my main two, nothing there, nothing there, right, is there anything between the two blacks, I wonder? Ah, so we have continuity between the two blacks. That's the black one, solid black, and the black and white. So, let's put it to the off position before it was steering lock. So, I should shove that in there, it'll be easier. So, that. so whatever happens, we've got continuity between the... Hang on, no, that's still off. On. Right, okay, that's good. So, the black with the red and black gives us continuity in the off position. No continuity in the on position. Now, the brown and red does exactly the opposite. It gives us, and, and we'll prove the point, so off Where is it? There we go. So, brown and red. Brown and red in the off position. We get nothing. But the other two, we get continuity. Hang on. So, one pair, we get continuity. And then if we turn the ignition on, we then get the opposite effect. So, brown and red become switched together. And then the two blacks, absolutely nothing. So that's good. We now know exactly what that switch does and how the wires work. So we can uh, we can go ahead and start getting that on the bike and hopefully getting it in a position where it will uh, operate. So brilliant. Thank you. Right, we'll uh, bring you back when we're out near the bike. Cheers, guys. Bye. Okay, guys, we're back on the bike. You'll have to excuse the wife's uh, washing. Uh, first thing I'm going to do in order to get this ignition on is drop these clocks. So I could probably do it with them in place, but it just makes life easier. So I'm not here. At the minute, they're not working anyway. And I'm yet to figure out why. temporary switch as I said earlier we've just popped that on so we had somewhere to switch on and off to get the bike running so off with that I shall put that away in my stash for use on some other project at some later date Do with the ignition. I've got to change that fuel cap as well because that obviously now won't fit. So, which way does that go? That way. No, it's got to go that way for the steering lock. Right, 
go. So that goes in like that. My great big sausage fingers don't help. Why will you not start? Right, let me turn you off guys. I'm going to uh, pull this off. I'm going to run a tap at that one, see if I can get it started. And when I've got it bolted up, I'll turn you back on again. Okay, that's uh, securely bolted back up. And we should have the steering lock now. Great, which we have. And nothing's wired up at the minute. Now, uh, let's have a look at this bloody mess. Okay, now this, I can get you guys in there. That there is the plug that the ignition should connect to. So what we have to do in order to get this to work and this come from a guy on uh, on another YouTube channel, so it's not my work. I would uh, I'll tell you who he was, but I don't know. So what we need to do is to loop those two out, which is already done, and then connect our ignition. So that's uh, red to the bottom, and brown to the top. Now, I know that looks a bit hokey, that's not the final solution. That's, um, that's going to be uh, terminated properly. This is just to prove a point that it works. And hopefully, now, set you guys over here. I'm hoping we should better turn that ignition on and the bike should start. Uh, time to get those clocks bolted back on. Again, they're smashed, they're the wrong ones, they're not going to be staying. But just so I've got something up there that I can work with and start getting things like the tachometer and what have you working. Because at this moment in time, nothing whatsoever works. And some lights come on, for example, the there's no neutral light, I've got a left indicator that stays on permanently, I've got the high beam that stays on permanently, it's just an absolute mess. And what I may have to do, or what my plan is, is if I can get everything working on these clocks, I will order another set, again, which will be in kilometres, because that's all that's available. But then I'll try and see if I can get hold of an overlay. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys know what the, uh, the MOT inspectors views on a, in the UK are with regards to a kilometre an hour clock only. I'm suspecting it'll be okay, but if any of you guys know, comment in the bottom, let me know. Okay. Right, they are on. So, we have a working ignition. We've got a set of clocks on, although bugger all works on it. Uh, I've got to do something to get the indicators attached properly. Uh, the next bit is going to be me out here with my test meter probing around in the wires, or well, whether that wires, 
making it look like I know what I'm doing, but really I haven't got a bloody clue, so there'll be lots of swearing, probably blowing a few fuses, and uh, I'm attempting to uh, try and get things uh, working on them clocks. So I will bring you back if and when I have anything to report. So, ta for now. Cheers. Right guys, uh, just a very quick update. I've been poking and prodding and I don't know what I'm doing to be honest with you. Like I said hundreds of times, I'm no good with electrics. Uh, that wire there, it's got 12 volts on it, only with the ignition on. I'm kind of thinking that's the taco and the wiring diagram I have would kind of back that up but the wire from up there from where the taco is coming down to here connects to a diff different terminal altogether now what I've noticed is that if I pull the sheath back on the original wiring which I'm and then check and match that the colours in this Chinese plug match those, they don't. So I don't know if I'm going to end up setting fire to the bike here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pull all these out and then replace them in positions in there to match that one. I can't believe it would be that easy, but I'm going to give that a go and then we'll, uh, we'll bring you back and see if anything works. Cheers guys. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Bertie Bodget. I'm just surveying one of my junk piles here which uh, which I'm going to have to do something with eventually. And the postman's bin. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But uh, let me see if I can bring you up to speed with what we've got here. Um, I think the last thing I said, or because it's the next day, um, I think I said I was going to be swapping over those uh, wires to try and match, uh, which I've done uh, with mixed results, unfortunately. Um, turn on the ignition. I don't know. It's very, very bright sunshine today, so I don't know how well this is going to show up. So. Ignition comes on, that's not a problem. Uh, you hear the fuel pump prime, so it's doing something it should. Uh, the high beam light is illuminated, regardless of whatever. You know, I don't know. I don't know, that's probably because I haven't got a headlight on, or more likely, um, I've still got issues with this wiring. Uh, it does start. Ooh, horns come back. Uh, the fuel gauge isn't working. How odd. Because what that was doing yesterday was just going to full tank. It's not got a full tank, but it was going to full tank anyway. So, let's just start the engine one second because I've got to. So, there you go. It, it starts on the button very well. Um, no red counter. Indicators are now working and I'm getting the light as well. So that's good. Uh, still lots of issues. Still, still many, many issues to deal with electrically. This has got some problems still. So. Yeah, I'm going to have a tinker around with that today. I'm going to be prodding and poking and testing, so it's probably not. It's going to be boring to film. But anyway, let's get back to my box. Uh, postman's bin, as you can see. Uh, I know what's in this. I haven't opened it yet, but I know what's in it. Uh, and because I know what's in it, I'm not very happy with the condition of that box. So, although I've pulled the air to wrapping off, I've not been in there yet, so... <laughs> down this silly little stand really isn't very good you keep falling come on guys yep. how many you had here we go <laughs> right let's have a look well 
that has fared okay. Uh, as you can see, new headlight. So yeah, uh, doesn't appear to be any damage on it. It was advertised as a headlight for this particular model as well. But whether all the wiring and the plugs and everything will line up, I doubt it because it's not a genuine, uh, it's not a genuine Yamaha one. So yeah, that will that will sit there quite nicely. Good, good. Yeah, she's uh, slowly coming together. What have I got to do? Uh, Indicators need mounting properly. I've got to do some more with that mud guard, it's a mess. Um, still need to order some new clocks because those ones, as previously mentioned, are broke and incorrect KMH, but I might have to just live with that. So, yeah, uh, that's where we are at the minute, guys. I'm going to switch you off. Um, I might pop this headlight on. I'm going to do some more tinkering with the wiring, see what I can get going and I shall report back when I know something. Thank you. Cheers.